I, I just, I, 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 in fact, just before I came out here, I spoke to some of the families, families of the hostages. I spoke to the family of Omer, who is now about to celebrate his 23rd birthday, and he celebrated his 22nd birthday under Hamas captivity. Imagine what it would be like to be a 22 or 23 year old man kept for a year by these brutal murderers. Think about what his life has been like. Think about what the last year of his life has been like. And I think it's impossible for any person with an ounce of moral courage or an ounce of conscience to not have their heart broken by what's happened to these terrible, what's happened, this terrible thing that's happened to these hostages. It is disgraceful, and I hate to get, a, I'm gonna get a little political here. It is disgraceful that we have an American president and vice president who haven't done a thing. Vice President Harris, our message is bring them home. Use your authority to help bring them home. We can do it, we just need real leadership. About what we're remembering here, a year later, over a thousand Israelis, many Americans, innocents who lost their lives, who were brutally murdered by Hamas. Today, in the United States, there are literal pro-Hamas protesters around the country calling for a ceasefire. And what they're really calling for is for a unilateral surrender. I have a different message. The only way this war is gonna end is when Hamas gives up its arms and stops the fighting and lets the hostages come home. That is the way to end this conflict.